This is VOA News. Reporting by remote, I'm David Byrd. The United States and Germany advised their nationals in Afghanistan to avoid traveling to Kabul airport on Saturday, citing security risks as thousands gathered trying to flee the country, with one official saying there is a threat from the Islamic State group. AP's Ben Thomas reports. Speaking on condition of anonymity to discuss military operations, the official says small groups of Americans and possibly other civilians will be given specific instructions on what to do, including movement to transit points where they can be gathered up by the military. The changes come as the U.S. Embassy issued a new security warning Saturday, telling citizens not to travel to Kabul airport without individual instruction from a U.S. government representative. Officials declined to provide more specifics about the Islamic State group threat, but described it as significant. Ben Thomas, Washington. Two Palestinians, including a 13-year-old boy and an Israeli soldier, were seriously injured in cross-border fire along the Gaza border Saturday that wounded at least 39 other Palestinians. The violence broke out during protests organized by Gaza's Islamist rulers Hamas and other factions. Saturday's protest grew violent after dozens of people approached the fortified border fence and threw rocks toward Israeli soldiers from behind a black smokescreen. Israeli troops fired tear gas and live rounds towards the protesters. The violence was reminiscent of the weekly rallies organized by Gaza's Hamas rulers in 2018 and 2019 to draw attention to Israel's stifling blockade over the tiny seaside territory. You can find more on our website, voanews.com. You can also follow us on the VOA mobile app.